Okay, this is our um, fourth video presentation on using exponential generating functions to solve permutation problems. Uh, we had about 10 or 12 videos that we prepared where we used ordinary generating functions to try to solve some more of the difficult combination problems. And now we're switching gears um, over to exponential generating functions. So, if you just found us on YouTube, if you can go to the website, all the videos that we have concerning combinations and permutations, ordinary generating functions, and what we've presented so far uh, with the exponential generating functions, uh, you can find all those videos there for you in their proper sequence. Now, in this video, what we want to do is start off considering a fairly simple problem, and that's this. Let's say we have these three numerals here, 0, 1, and 2, and we're going to use them repeatedly to form a five-digit number. So we might have something that looks like this, maybe 2, 1, 0, 1, 1. Or we might have 0, 0, 0, Two, two. There would be a five-digit number. We want to ask ourselves if we're going to form the five-digit numbers by using these three numerals repeatedly. How many of these different five-digit numbers can we make? Now, we can answer that question right away just by using the counting principle. Because here. For the first digit, which we're using these repeatedly, we have three numbers to choose from. For the second digit, we also have three numbers to choose from. And likewise for the third, fourth, and fifth digit. So, for each digit place, there's three different numbers that we can make our selections from. So, for all five digits together, the total number of ways that we can perform the task is by multiplying these out. And of course, that is 3 to the fifth. So that would be the number of these five-digit numbers that we could create by choosing from these repeatedly. And let's see, 3 to the fifth, 3 squared is 9 times 9 is 81, multiply that times 3, that would be 243. So, again, if we're choosing from the, the numerals, the three different numerals, 0, 1, and 2, and we're choosing from them five times, then, for example, at 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, to form these five-digit numbers, there's 243 different ones that we could make, that we could generate like this. Or to state the problem in different terms, we could say that you are creating five dash permutation from different numbers. And the number of these five dash permutations that we can create is 243. Now let's consider the same problem Again, using these three numerals right here. Now let's con consider the same problem, only now we're going to use, solve it using uh, exponential generating function. Again, we're using the exponential generating function because these are permutations here that we're generating. So, in each of these permutations that has five numerals in there, for zero, we may not use it at all. And that would be x to the zero power, which is one. We may use 
you may choose to use one zero, that would be x to the first divided by one factorial, or we may choose to decide we may choose to use two zeros, that would be x squared over two factorial. And we didn't state any upper limit in the problem as to how many zeros we want to use when we're forming these uh, strings of these five digit numbers. So when we write out the uh, x number generating function, it just continues on the way on out to infinity. Now, if we had put a restriction saying, well, most number of zeros we can have in any string is two, then it would stop right here. But we didn't, we didn't put any upper limit on it. Therefore, the whole generating sequence was all the way on out to infinity. So this would be the exponential generating function describing zero. And it would also describe the numeral one. Is the numeral one we may not use it, or we may use it more than one time. There's no upper limit describing how many times you can use it. So that would also be the generating function for the numeral 1 and for the numeral 2. So we have three generating functions. They're all the same. They're this. Now what we do is, when we want to consider all the numerals together, 0, 1, and 2, we multiply all their individual generating functions together. So that would be this times itself three times, and that would be this cubed. Now what we want to do is, what we're concerned is, if I multiply this out, this infinite series by itself three times, what would be the coefficient of x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial? Because that coefficient tells us the number of five dash permutations we can generate using these three numbers repeatedly. So let's see how we can do that. It's pretty straightforward, really. This expression right here inside the parentheses sign, we know from our previous videos that that is e to the x. And this is cubed, so we have e to the x cubed, and that equals e to the 3x. So, when we multiply all the generating functions together, this is what we get. Now, if we expand e to the 3x out, like we did for e to the x, what we want to know is, what is the coefficient? of x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial. So this right here, hopefully you've watched the previous videos and you realize that this is very straightforward. What we do is this. We know that, and did, we did this in the previous video, that e to the nx is this expression, so that the coefficient of x to the k over k factorial is just n to the k, e is to the nx power. Well, for our problem, x is n is equal to 3, and we want the coefficient of x to the fifth over 5 factorial, that's going to be 3 to the fifth. So in this expression, the coefficient of x to the fifth to the 5 factorial is 3 to the fifth. And that is the number then of 5 dash permutations we can generate from these three different numbers. 3 to the fifth or 253. The same answer that we obtained previously by using the counting principle. So, we just did policy that would be the more awkward way to solve this problem, but we're doing it again just to kind of show the, to demonstrate to you the thought process that goes involved when we want to use exponential generating functions to solve a permutation problem. 
Now, let's consider this problem. We have the same numerals, 0, 1, and 2, and we still want to perform, we still want to generate these five dash permutations from them, so we still want to form these five digit numbers, but now, unlike previously, this would not be allowed for example. Let's say I have one, one, two, two, one. That would not be allowed because we never use zero. We want to have a proviso this time that each one of these five digit strings that we made has to include all of these numbers at least one time. How many ways can we do it? Now we can't solve this just by using the counting principle. Now we have to use generating functions. Now we said that for each one of these, we have to use at least once. Well, that eliminates this because 1 is x to the 0, and that means we may not be using a number. For example, for the numeral 0, we have to use it at least one time. So that's x to the first of the 1 factorial. Then after that, we can use it multiple times. There's no restrictions stated in the problem. So again, it would be an infinite series. If the infinite series doesn't start with 1, it starts with x to the first of the 1 factorial. So that's the new generating function for 0. And that would be the same generating function for the numeral 1, because we have to use it at least one time. And it's also the same generating function for the numeral 2. It has to be used at least one time in each of these strings that we made. So here then, this is the generating function for 0, 1, and 2. We multiply all the generating functions together, and we're going to have this and, just like before, what we want to know is, with this infinite series multiplied by itself three times, it's cubed, we want to know what is going to be the coefficient of x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial. Still the same logic as before, it's just that now we have a different generating function that we're working with. So, let's proceed to try to solve this problem. The key is to realize when we're looking at this, what's inside the parentheses is no longer e to the x, but this right here is now e to the x minus 1. And this is cubed so this would be q. So and now the generating function for 0, 1, and 2 is e to the x minus 1. But if I to get a few times, you have e to the x minus 1 q. And what we want to know is what is the coefficient of x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial in this expression here. So the first thing we have to do is multiply this out. So we have move this up a little ways. e to the x minus 1 q. That is equal to e to the 3x minus 3 times e to the 2x plus 3 times e to the x minus 1. Now in this expression, what we want to know is what is going to be, what is the coefficient of x to the fifth divided by 5 factorial. And here now is where we use our knowledge in the previous video, one that was titled Exponential Functions 
how to find the coefficient. Here we have e to the nx, its coefficient is n to the k, x to the k, little k factorial. n is 3, this is 5, x to the power of 5 factorial. Now we're going to have 3 to the fifth, just like we had before. So this is 3 to the fifth minus 3. Now here we have not e to the 3x, but here we have e to the 2x. So here, this is going to be minus 3 times 2 to the 5 power. And again, this is what we did in the previous video. Here, and it's now 2, this is still x to the fifth of the 5 factorial, which is going to be 2 to the fifth. Minus 3 times 2 to the fifth, plus 3, or we have e to the x, coefficient of x to the k over k factorial is just 1, so we have x to the fifth of the 5 factorial, that's just going to be 1. So it's just 3 times 1. So this right here, that is our coefficient of x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial. 3 to the 5th, that's 243, minus, here we have 32 times 3, minus 96, plus 3, so here we have 243, minus 93. So, here we have 24 minus 9, that should be 15. So there's our answer, 150. Try to keep things up in focus here. All we did was, that's 243, that's 32 times 3 is minus 96, plus 3, we have 2R43 minus 93, that equals 150. So the coefficient of x to the fifth of a 5 factorial in this expression here is 150. So now, going back to the top, when we're forming these strings here, and we have to use all of these numbers at least once, now the total number of different strings that we can make, the five digit numbers, is 150. We didn't have that restriction out before, the total number is 243. And with this case, we didn't have to use exponential generating functions to determine that, we could just use the counting principle. But now, once you put the restriction now that each of these numbers has to be used at least one time, now the only way we could solve it is to use exponential generating functions, and there's our answer, 150. So, here again is a demonstration of kind of a thought process, and some of the, manip some of the mathematical manipulations that you had to do to be able to use the exponential uh, generating functions. In the next video, we're going to consider one more problem like this that will have more restrictions on it. And then when we have that finished, we'll have two more videos where we'll use this knowledge to try to solve some more practical and some more interesting type problems. So come back and join us for those videos, and we'll see if we can solve some more problems.